Recently, my wife and I cycled the Alps to Ocean gravel trail in the South Island of New Zealand, crossing the desert to a large blue lake with picturesque views of the mountains. When you tell a compelling story that engages your viewers, you leave a lasting impact. Video storytelling is a great way to evoke emotions and make a deeper connection with your audience. In the cycling video, I show you five elements you need to include when telling a story using video. Before you start filming your video, think about the audience you wish to reach. In the cycling video, I want to reach people who love to ride trails and have a sense of adventure. I also want to reach those people that love to hike nature trails. Before you go out to shoot your video, think about what you wish to achieve. Do you want to wow your audience with stunning landscapes? Do you want to evoke their emotions by telling a transformative story? In the Psyche video, I want to evoke viewers' emotions by showing stunning landscapes as well as telling a transformative story of the characters. The main characters in my Psyche video are my wife and I, which show how we get transformed from the flat desert-like terrain to the deep blue mountain lake and the stunning snow-capped mountains in the background. Instead of shooting your video footage on the fly, plan your shots ahead of time. For example, in my cycling video, I wanted to get a shot of my wife cycling across the desert towards the mountains. I also want to capture the different breathtaking landscapes from the desert to the mountain lakes and to the highest mountains in New Zealand. I also brought along my iPhone to get some still shots of my wife and I. If you plan your shots ahead of time, it's easy to tell a story by showing a sequence of shots throughout your video. When cycling, I use a GoPro action camera to capture cinematic video footage. It's shockproof so you don't have to worry about dropping it. It's freeze proof so you don't have to worry about it freezing up in the snow or in cold temperatures. And it's waterproof so you can even film underwater. It's small enough to fit inside your pocket or hold in the palm of your hand so you can film with one hand on the camera and one hand on the handlebars. This means you don't have to carry a lot of camera gear and it shoots super steady footage. Links to all the gear are in the description. I use the SmartTree telescopic tripod as a selfie stick to capture overhead shots. You can extend it to about six feet and it also has a tripod at the bottom so you can stand it on the ground. Watch the rest of the video to see how I tell a compelling story while cycling the Alps to Ocean Trail in the South Island of New Zealand.
One of the top ranking factors for YouTube is watch time. If you can keep your viewers engaged throughout your video, then get them to watch a related video, YouTube will promote your video to a wider audience. You can accomplish this by inviting viewers to watch a related video at the end of the video that you've just watched. Watch this video on the screen right now on how to film a cinematic biking video as a solo creator. You'll be glad you did.